And now I think that's all the calculations we have to do for We gotta find K, right? Sorry, we've got to find K. So this is gonna be a little bit redundant as well. Let me just check my um Something different besides one one two? I got one one one. Yeah, zero one zero. We got one one zero. You got one one zero? Yeah. Um, we got zero one zero. We got two one two and a half. <laughs> <laughs> two one two and a half. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, well, you use your own data, okay? So. Um, who are the, the half? Us. <laughs> you said you had two? Two, one, and then like 2.6. Two, one, 2.6, two two rounded down to two. Okay. So two, <laughs> one. Um, so now, go through all the experiments, plug in everything, solve for K. For every single one, solve for K, for all eight, and then average them together. Okay, so you're going to plug in your rate, your concentrations, and then average them all together. Okay, but stick with what you have. It is one one two. That's the real values. Uh, but still, use your data. Use your answers. But if you got one one two, that's the correct rate orders. But use your own rate orders when calculating K. Um, remember that determining when it turns color is very. Um, uh, what do you call it? Um, Qualitative. Yeah. So, if we could come up with a better way to measure when the color changes, you'd get better results. Wait, who's 